can someone confirm if my screen is visible okay my voice is clear now right any issues with my voice i'm just making sure because okay okay shashwan okay darshan okay so we will discuss about uh, java operators right and uh, if you talk about operators there are six operators in java so the unary operator arithmetic or relational logical ternary and assignment so all these operators are used to perform some uh, mathematical calculations right so these operators are required if you want to solve any mathematical problem you need these operators right but mathematically uh, if you see if you want to calculate anything mathematically by using mathematics uh, the procedure is uh, uh, different than the same problems when it's solved in java i mean java follows a different approach not completely different approach but you know uh, uh, a unique approach so you cannot compare uh, the calculations mathematical calculations with java calculations right so let uh, let us understand this one by one so let me let me go with uh, the operators for example let us say that uh, i have two numbers for example 5 plus 10 right in java we categorically call uh, this symbol this symbol as operator right and the actual variables or actual values or the actual data right here 5 and 10 they are the variables they are representing the data right we call this as operand this is just a terminology operand right so the conclusion is very simple to define an operator you know we we just conclude it like uh, the operators are used to perform some calculations or we can say that the operators are symbols that are used to perform some operations on top of java operands i can say the operator is a symbol it is a symbol which is used to perform some operation some mathematical operation right on top of operands right and manipulate the variables right so these variables these two variables will get manipulated right and uh, you know 5 plus 10 is going to be what 15 right this is a simple definition that you can remember right let me open my notepad the definition of operator operators in java so java operators or symbols that are that are usually used to perform some operations operations on variables so when i say variables i am talking about the data right and manipulate the values of the operands right and the second line i can say each operator in java is designed to perform a specific operation or i can say that a unique operation each operator has an identity or it is uh, designed to perform an unique operation right it is just like the math mathematical operations but here uh, you know uh, the procedure is going to be a little different as as simple as that you will understand each and every procedure the first thing is the unary operator
So the first operator is what the unary operator. We have already discussed about this unary operator section. If you remember, right? But I didn't mention you about the unary operators. The post increment and the pre increment operators are called as what unary operators. Unary operator. So this this is a very special operator. You cannot find this operator uh, in uh, in mathematics, right? This operator is specially designed for Java. Right. It has a lot of importance, right? The speciality of that operator is, see, uh, to perform any operation, we usually need two operands, right? If you want to do 10 plus 20, this is operand 1, this is operand 2. This is what uh, the nature, this is how uh, the operation works. But for the unary operator, it is okay to have only one operand. How is that possible, sir? So they say, they say, Java people are saying that, Java unary operator require only one operand, right? Because they are used to perform increment and decrement operations, right? They are usually used to perform increment and decrement operations by a value 1 right so we have two types of unary operators one is pre-increment pre-increment or decrement and uh, second one is post-increment or decrement we were discussing this operator actually if you remember so when i say pre increment it is like plus plus an operand followed by a uh, i mean followed by the variable this is pre increment right pre decrement minus minus here. example and we have post increment post increment is i know the variable gets incremented i mean uh, the actual value will be printed and the updation will happen in the memory post decrement these are the two operands. Actually, we have discussed this, but uh, the discussion was just uh, on top of uh, this, you know, uh, this uh, vocabularies, which is increment and decrement. So these are falling under the unary operators. Right? So let us uh, let us uh, take a few examples on these operators once again for the day. Today, I will uh, give you another example. Let me take the name of the classes test. Public static void <coughs> string array ops. A main method is mandatory to perform any kind of uh, operations. Right? The logic should be uh, written in the main method. For the time being, in future, we will keep the logics uh, in uh, different methods. We will just try to uh, transfer the control that we will discuss in the object oriented concepts. But for the, for now. Class is mandatory and a main method is mandatory you not know, to execute the program. Let me take integer a equal to 10, right? System dot out dot print align. And uh, so let us do this plus plus a, right? Plus a plus plus. So, can you answer this? What could be the output? The value of, if you take the value of AS10, right? Uh, what is the possible output or what is the anticipated output? Meanwhile, you do this, I will try to uh, bring my compiler command prompt. What my question, right? So the value of a is ten. So we are doing a posting, a pre increment, and 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 I have uh, used a plus operator and the post increment, right? The value of a is equal to ten. So what 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 is the anticipated output? Ganesh, Darshini, Ganesh is twenty two. 
what about others darshini uh, and uh, sashwan samyukta i want answers from you i will give you the explanation but try to answer sashwan 21 uh, 10 plus 11 yeah good uh, you know darshini yeah you are uh, Analyzing, analyzing is good. Okay, 21. Samikta is there. 22. Okay, let us see. Even I am not sure. So, we will just try to do the tracing. Okay. When you are uh, trying to attend the classes, please uh, keep a pen and the paper next to you for the easy calculation. So, we have to uh, work out, work on the problems together. So, keep a pen and a paper along with you. Okay. Let me save this program. I save us. Paste it up. Okay, program has been saved. Now, compilation for the compilation Java C space test it out Java. Compilation is successful, it means there are no errors in the code on the execution. The answer is 22. People who are who have mentioned it as 22, they are correct. Ganesh and you know, make one. Okay, let us trace this out why it is 22 let's uh, do the tracing part together so let me go back to this paint mm. okay we all know main thread will get created and uh, main thread will try to and main thread will get access to the main method right so all the instructions inside the main method needs to get executed one by one so what is the first instruction this is the first instruction right so first instruction says a equal to 10 so the memory gets allocated and the variable name is what a right and uh, the value that will be stored inside this variable is going to be 10. So, first instruction completed. Right now, the control will uh, be jumping into the second instruction. This one, one minute. So, second instruction says plus plus here. Right uh, now, let us write this. Uh, you know, uh, let me write this for the better observation plus plus a i am just separating this plus and a plus plus both are same so i am just rewriting like this in this way for the better observation very very simple okay so first every time the control will be from left to right understand right the control will be from left to right right before even solving solving this, I will help you with a precedence table. I will help you with what? Operator precedence table. Then it will be very easy for us to understand this. Right? That is a table developed by the uh, Java people, you know, to get pre to give the priority for the operators. Right? So we have board mass rule in our uh, in our max concept, right? It gives what? It gives priorities. Which operator uh, should be given the top priority and the which operator should be given the least priority? Bot mass rule say. Do you know bot mass rule? Anyone? Say yes or no bot mass. Do you know what is bot mass? In mathematics. Any idea? Yeah. Likewise, in Java, right, there is a rule, there is a precedence table which gives priorities so p r e t e d e n c precedence and uh, here we have operator and uh, here we have what the actual symbol name let me take it as name itself right the first priority first priority is always for parenthesis right first priority is always for Parenthesis. But when you spelling mistake, ignore. And the second priority is for unary operators plus plus minus minus. 
second priority is for increment and decrement operators which we are discussing now increment or decrement operator and the third priority is for division multiplication and uh, we have modulus in java we call this as modulus operator it is not a percentage it uh, is similar to percentage symbol i mean it is a percentage symbol but we call it as modulus operator so we can say this as division and uh, multiplication right and we do not have space let me write it here and uh, modulus right and uh, the fourth priority is for plus and minus plus symbol comma minus symbol which is for addition and subtraction right and the last priority goes for fifth priority goes for the assignment operators so we will discuss all these operators one by one but for to understand this just look at this table so that there will be better clarity minus plus equal to we have uh, minus equal to and uh, we have multiplication multiplication equal to we have division equal to and uh, and we have percentage equal to. that's it so we ca we call this operators as assignment operators assigning values we will assign a value to this operator that's why it is called as assignment operator assign a assignment okay right, just look at this table or don't worry about this table we'll discuss each and every we are going to discuss each and every operator so our table table is ready right. table is not looking good okay that's signal so when you see now the priority will be given for see this increment operator is getting priority this one or this one it can be pre increment or post increment no matter what they are called as increment operator firstly the manipulation will be done for this increment operators right first the operation will be completed for this increment operator because when you see this increment operators right so they are given the second priority so it is like first complete doing this right then perform addition operator addition operator as you know as got the fourth priority it is uh, you know uh, it is in the second bottom right so first we will complete doing this two then we will think about this one right shall we do right so if i say plus plus a right actually we were discussing this pre increment plus plus a means pre increment pre increment when i say pre increment what does it mean uh, firstly update the value in the memory then print in the console update the value in the memory print in the console or keep uh, keep it ready for the printing update the value in the memory print in the console or keep it ready for the printing right when i say plus plus a the value of a is 10 right so in our memory the value of a remains to be 10 right so 10 will be incremented to 11 10 will get incremented to 11 right and this 11 will be ready to be printed right it cannot be printed because uh, you know some operation is pending to be completed right so secondly so this red uh, you know this operator needs to get priority right here 11 the value of 11 is here it says a plus plus a plus plus a plus plus means print and update right so printed so a value of recent value of a is what 11 right then do the update now it is what 12 okay 
and we have this thing left right plus thing is left now this is left right let us bring this down now do the evaluation 11 11 22 22 will be displayed in the console making sense yes or no yes is it clear who has uh, okay and uh, if it is if this is clear uh, shall we, we will see one more example for the better understanding right this is going to be our last example try to answer this print ln Okay, I'm not sure if we get the answer. Okay, now you answer me. To work it out in the pen and paper. First, just do this operation. See, the bottom line is very simple. Right? We have two SOP statements, system dot out dot print alert, right? In the console, two values will be printed. So there will be some value here, there will be some value here. First thing. Second thing is just try to separate the uh, plus operator like this. Try to uh, separate like this, you will get better idea. Right now, you tell me what uh, the output is going to be. Okay, oh, wait, wait, Darshini is asking, sir, but why not 11 plus 2? Okay, Darshini, I, I didn't see your message. Let me repeat it for you. Meanwhile, others solve this. Yeah. See, if you see plus plus a and a plus plus, if you again consider this, firstly, I have already said plus plus a means print and update, and a plus plus means update and print, right? And we have the value of a as n. This is the value of a, right? And uh, so I said that we need to perform this operation plus plus a plus a plus plus. So this is the operation, yes or no? So what happens in the memory? In the memory, the value of 10 will get assigned to the variable a. Ten is getting us into the variable a. So far, no issues, right? So this is what our duty is. This is what our job is. We need to find this, right? So if you look at the priority table, right, we have used a plus operator along with the pre-increment and post-increment operator, right? So plus operator is getting the least priority. So we will think about this. We will think about this later. So this is getting least priority or second priority. So we are not going to think about this now. First, we will we will have to complete these two increment operators, this one as well as this one. After completing this, we will give priority for the plus operator. Right? So plus plus a says, right? If I say plus plus a, look at here. Print and update. Okay. That is the value of your 10. Right? Print and update. So first I am printing it. Printing means not printing. I am just considering it to be printed. Print. Secondly, do the update. 10 is becoming what? 11. Okay, this part done. Now we will consider this part. Right? A plus plus. Sorry, sorry. Uh, previously, sorry guys. 
प्लस प्लस है इसे अपडेट प्लस प्रेट प्लस प्लस ए इज दिस वन दिस वन अपडेट प्लस प्रेट टेन विल गेट अपडेटेड टू इलेवन राइट सो इलेवन विल बी प्रिंट एंड द सेकेंड वन इज ए प्लस प्लस प्रिंट एंड अपडेट सो रीसेंट वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज इलेवन राइट सो इलेवन विल बी प्रिंटेड और इलेवन विल बी रेडी टू प्रिंटेड right after that it will get updated updated to 12 right so now what is pending what uh, calculation is pending to get evaluated plus is pending right do plus a okay. we got values we got actual values for plus plus a and a plus plus 11 11 right it will not look, go back and look into the memory so we got we have already found values for this so obviously output is going to be 22 Yeah, we will see few more examples. We will get this. Okay, that's it. Any answers for this? Okay. Any answers for okay? Samikta twenty to twenty one. So people are saying twenty two and twenty one. So we get two answers actually. Anyone solve this problem? Okay, let's do the compilation. Right, this is going to be the last problem in the unary operators. After this, we will uh, start discussing about the arithmetic operators. Compilation is successful. So twenty one ten. Answer is twenty one ten. Anyone has answer twenty one ten? Ganesh has said twenty one. Well, uh, you should also consider this guys. If I am saying two system dot out dot print alert, right? Whatever the output is. Two values should be displayed in the console. We don't forget. Shall we do the tracing part for this? Now, everyone, pay some attention. This is going to be the last example for the on top of unary operators. Pay some attention. This is going to play a vital role in understanding loops, especially for loops. So, very very important topic this one. So, pay some attention. This is going to be the last example. So, this is our example. Okay, we have our example here, and uh, so we know the compilation steps and the execution steps. So while executing this, we need a main thread. Main thread will be created by the JVM, right? Main thread will get access to what? Will get access to the main method, right? All instructions inside the main method needs to get executed one by one. We know this already. First instruction is what? Integer a a equal to a equal to ten. Very simple, a straightforward statement. Memory block will be created, and uh, the value ten will be assigned to the variable a. Yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good. We have no issues. And in the system dot order printer land, right? We have uh, you know. Uh, usually we have two operators if you assume we have one unary operator and we also have some uh, arithmetic operators let us divide this it for the better observation what i am trying to do is i am bringing this here right so now the same time i am rewriting it here plus plus a plus a plus plus minus a minus minus Plus a minus minus. This is what it is. Let me make this little bit bigger. Okay, right. So first priority is for right. If you go back and see the table, increment decrement operator or you know they have been given the top priority compared to plus and minus operators. Yes or no? Right. So firstly, our job is to calculate all this. Things individually because they are they have the highest priority compared to plus and minus operators. Right. Firstly, we will calculate this. Right. Now again, I am placing the formula here. If it is plus plus a, right? Update update in the memory 
and print or use it to be printed or keep it to be printed to be printed right and the if it is like a plus plus not only for a plus plus a minus minus also ab, uh, now print or keep it ready to be printed and then update in the memory please focus here if this is making sense right the future topics are going to be very easy especially the forms right so first statement says plus plus a so this is the formula that we need to consider what it says update in the memory and print plus plus right plus plus means increment it by 1 10 becomes 11 right so it has got updated in the memory right and uh, print or keep it to be printed right now this part is going to become what 11 okay i am not touching this plus operator we will now evaluate this now a plus plus a plus plus means this part print first print right what is the latest value 11 print that print that or keep it ready to be printed after doing this right second uh, i mean after the uh, you know and we have update in the memory then do the update 11 becomes what 11 becomes 12 okay this part has, this part is this part is also completed right so this is completed this is completed we have this to be completed right now a minus minus right a minus minus means again the same formula whether it is a plus plus or a minus minus whether it is a plus plus or a minus minus the operation is same a minus minus print and keep it ready to be print. i mean print or keep it ready to print or update what is the latest value of a 12 every time you check the memory 12 latest value of is 12 yes or no right now perform the operation what is this operation in decrement operation decrement operation means what reduce the value to one i mean uh, subtract by one 12 becomes again 11 right so this is also over this is also over and last one is what a minus minus right what is the latest value of a 11 yes or no print that so a minus minus this uh, this rule print print then do the decrement now in the memory it is become it will become thin yes or no let me see what is the actual answer we got okay so now remember memory the latest value of a in the memory is what 10 this is the latest value let me put that in red 10 is the latest value okay so we have completed we have achieved what uh, you know uh, doing the increment and decrement and one more operation is pending we need to uh, you know do the addition as well as the subtraction, subtraction yes or no this part is completed right so you will bring this here now we will bring the second priority object which is what not second priority the next priority is given for plus plus and uh, we have minus and uh, we have plus right and uh, now evaluate this what we get 11 uh, 22 33 33 minus 12 is what 21 yes 21 right so this line is completed and 21 will be displayed in the console i can say that so this is just imagine that this is the console right? here 21 gets printed right 
and one more statement is pending to get executed yes or no system dot out dot pending this is pending to get executed right and it is trying to access value of a what is the value of a recent value 10 right 10 will be printed right and you now if you see the output it is matching 21 10 is it clear now say something in the chat box are able to follow yes no maybe will able to do calculate in the future like because these questions are really important in the interview room for freshers pre increment post increment and for the interview room as well as for the you know when you try to uh, understand loops java loops so these are very important good that you understood okay, now let's jump into the next uh, operator what is the next operator that we have okay. arithmetic operator we need to discuss about arithmetic operator right. so arithmetic operator is very simple to understand Arithmetic operator in Java. So we don't collectively say it as operators, we just say arithmetic operator. And arithmetic operator has its own important to perform the basic addition and uh, you know, subtraction. Right? So when you say arithmetic operators, there are five operators under the arithmetic operator concept in Java. If they are plus, they are minus, right? And there is a multiplication and there is a division and that is a modulus right so java people they place these two operators under additive so these are called additive operators these are called multi multiplicative operators Sorry, not always multiple. So this is the addictive category. It is falling under multiplicative category. So two categories. So in one category, in addictive category, we have uh, you know so the arithmetic operators are divided into two categories so this is the first category additive 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 character not additive additive category second one is multiplicative category and these are the operators for additive additive category and under additive category there is a there is a plus operator which is meant for addition. I don't think we need much explanation on this. Addition operator and we have subtraction operator. Subtraction operator. Okay. So under multiplicative category, we have as which it is called as multiplication operator. T application operator right and we have division operator and we have what modulus operator this concept is uh, you know it is same like the mathematical operator but uh, you know there are little changes that uh, that needs an observation let's focus here please let me go back to, to this example how you answer me i have integer a equal to 10 i have integer b equal to uh, 20 system dot out dot intel and uh, when i say uh, a plus b Answer straightforward. Don't do any mistakes for this. What is the answer? A plus B. 
answer what my question i am just making this session interactive nothing else but okay I want you to answer so let us take a big number here so that uh, let it take part so for all this four a minus if i do a minus b we get a uh, 20 very straightforward i don't think we need much explanation if i do a star uh, b which means multi multiplication is a possible answer for this 800 or 800. right right but the problem is see the calculations or the manipulations will act different upon these two operators one is division and modulus of right so instead of taking this example right now uh, think and answer me when i say 10 divided by usually in general action in mathematical answer if i say 10 divided by not 10 divided by okay if i say 3 uh, divided by 2 uh, just give me the mathematical answer i have a value of 3 as a as 3 and b as 2 what is the possible mathematical answer okay, uh, 3 by 2 i mean to say possible mathematical answer for this any idea Ganesh respond 1.5. Okay, this is a possible mathematical answer. Yes, that's correct. 1.5. Right. So let us do, let us try to execute this and we will understand. Is it really 1.5 or not? I'm saving this. Uh Java is Mathematically, you are correct, Darshini. I'm not saying anything. It is giving us only one. It's giving us one. Why it is giving us one, we will understand that. So if you let me go back here. So addition operator, okay, it is used to add two operands or it is used as a operator to perform direct mathematical addition. This is this is very clear, right? This is for the this explanation is for addition operator. Right? When you talk about subtraction, basic subtraction. Straightforward answer. Right? This you should do instead of adding, instead of add, subtract two operands, or it will be used to perform, instead of to perform mathematical subtraction. Right. So multi multiplication, right? Under this we have multiplication operator. Right. Even we do not have any issues with the multiplication operator as well. No issues with the multiplication operator. So they work similar to the mathematical operations. As simple as that. Multiply two operands or it is as an operator to perform mathematical multiplication. right so division when we talk about division so this is the this is not similar to the mathematical division right so it is it is used to perform the division it is used to perform the division however it it is going to give the value of quotient as the output as the output remainder will not be considered as soon as it finds the absolute quotients that value will be returned and the remainder will not be considered and also floating point operation will not be performed. Remainder will not be considered. As soon as it gets the absolute 
question without the rational part that value will be written as simple as that right so we say if i say same example right uh, 3 if 3 gets divided by 2 right when we do this with java 3 by 2 right it is same as this right so 2 1 2 we have what we have remainder 1 right so it will not perform uh, this uh, floating point operation that's what i mean to say if, as soon as it just finds up absolute quotients this value will be returned to understand this, we will take another example. Um, so, I am taking uh, the value as 7. Right? Now, you tell me what would be the possible answer. Just got to know the procedure. Now, you tell me for this what will be the answer. Yes, exactly. Such one you got. Quotient will be displayed. Right? Same example. Same example, and uh, you know, seven divided by two, three times six, you get one, right? This will be returned. Quotient, right? Straight forward, right? and a small difference between this division operator and the modulus. Right. Can you guess the answer? If a division operator is written in quotient, no, uh, what could uh, this operator, this modulus operator will do? Just please try to guess. It's not a percentage, modulus, mod not the mathematical percentage, it is the Java modulus. Any guesses for this, Ganesh? Sashwan, Samyukta, Darshini. Uh, three. This one says three. This is a uh, modulus. Okay, Samyukta, you're right. I will make it keep, it keep it very simple. Same example. Two divided by seven. Right. When you use, uh, you know, when you do this, when you do this, when you do the uh, division, three times six. Right? This will be returned. Right. When you do modulus, right, this will be written as simple as that. So, these are the, the difference between the mathematical operation and the Java operators, as simple as that. Right? So, this is how we need to pick up uh, because we make a lot of mistakes thinking that uh, the output is going to be the something like the output we get in the mathematical operation. So, why is that? I am giving you this clear picture. So, let us let us trace this from the compiler. We save this. Java six plus test dot Java. Uh, Java space test three one. Answer is three one. Okay. Let us take this an example. So division now modulus modulus operator. Okay. So arithmetic operator is completed. it is used to perform this also is used to perform division however it is going to give the value of remainder as the output the, uh, the quotient will not be considered not be considered as soon as it gets the absolute remainder uh, without the so we don't see any fractional part The value will be returned. Right? So example. Example one. Right? So what are the other examples that we have discussed today? Okay. So this example is for the unary operator.
today we will share you the absolute loss from today so these topics are very important example So we completed unary operator and we completed uh, you know arithmetic operators in Java. And uh, what is pending? We have to focus on the remaining operators, which are uh, relational operators, right? Uh, logical operators and ternary operators and assignment. This is not going to take much time. Maybe two to three classes after after completing this. We will understand the concept of uh, converting a number to con converting a decimal number to octal number that is pending, right? And we will complete uh, if, if statement, if block, else blocks, and we will also complete uh, for loops. Then we will discuss some problems on bit wise of right? So, by this, uh, now after completing all this, which I have just mentioned. We can perform a lot of calculations. We can uh, draft a lot of Java programs. We can a lot of Java programs. Right? Then we will start focusing on hoops concept. Going forward, the classes are going to be very interesting because everything is going to be discussed in the practical way. So theory part will be reduced. Any questions for me today? Hope you have enjoyed this class. Zero. Any questions for me?